be like, it's my B-Day, baby. What? Oh my God, I'm about to play this song. What? What am I doing? Listen, I did not play. guys what's up and welcome back to another weekly vlog another dose of dana and if you are new welcome it's your girl dana i leave for atlanta in the morning i'm super super excited um because your girl has not traveled like whatsoever since november 2019 so it's almost like borderline two years which is crazy um, obviously because of the pandemic here in Canada, they do not play. Um, so I'm pretty much, pretty much packed. I just added like my makeup, my brushes and my skincare. I always pack those things last. Um, just cause I took my shower and all that. Oh my God, I'm actually fully packed. I have a whole other carry on. I have a carry on just for my bags and shoes. Cause I don't play that. Like I'm so scared of like knock on not wood but knock on something um i don't know i just always get scared of like my stuff getting lost and i can like you know deal with my cl clothes getting lost even though that sucks too because you know some are really old pieces but like to lose like shoes and bags that cost like a lot of money is just like i don't know i just don't want to risk that um anyways yeah so i just opened up my package from lulu's because um they are sponsoring today's vlog so i do want to give lulu's a huge thank you for sponsoring today's vlog Thank you so much. I've known about Lulu's for quite some time, but this is my first time working with them. I've seen other influencers work with them as well, and their pieces are hitting. They have a wide, like, wide variety of clothing, super trendy pieces, super affordable. They have a lot of different brands on there as well. Like, anything from, like, everyday basics to formal going out. Like, I mean, like, prom dresses, bridesmaids dresses. Like, they, like, they have everything. Shoes, accessories, like everything i am about to try on all the pieces i got from them yeah let's see how everything fits actually let's start off with the jewelry because i'm already sitting down i just put this ring on how cute make this a little darker how cute is this ring i actually misplaced two of my rings that i bought like a while ago from nemi glow I don't know what I did with them and I paid like a hundred dollars for those so I'm so happy that like my Lulu's package came in time for my trip so I'm gonna be bringing I have no rings like I just have a silver one no gold ring so I'm bringing this with me on my trip um, the next piece of jewelry that I got are these hoop earrings these are really cute I like how they start off thick and then they're thinner and pointier at the end I might bring no yeah no I might bring these the next piece of jewelry I got are these I am obsessed with these earrings if you like follow me then you know I already have earrings like this they're pretty old now and I wore them so much that they were like a nice yellow gold like this and now they're basically like a silver so I definitely wore them out that's why you guys don't really see me wear them anymore because they lost their color this is a 24k gold I know a lot of you guys wanted to know where I got these earrings from. They're not available anymore. So for any of you guys that were interested in getting these earrings that I used to wear all the time and still haven't found a pair, Lulu's has them. Super affordable. Like, super affordable. I also got a bracelet. I'm bringing, like, I'm bringing this with me. This is so cute. And I have a tiny wrist as well, so... This is like gonna be perfect. Yeah, this is mad cute. Mad cute. I put it on the loosest one, which I probably shouldn't have because my wrists are very, very tiny. But this is gonna look so cute with my watch in the morning. Um, or just in, like in general, I'm gonna be wearing this. And then I got some breast lift tape. Um, if you guys know Kyra, I'm unique. She raves about this, saying that it's really, really good. And I have been in need of some breast lift tape. I do have, like, my Skims one as well. But, you know, Skims are kind of expensive. And That's so crazy how this actually works. So, I'm definitely going to throw this in my suitcase. 
because you know I'm gonna need I'm gonna need my girls to be sitting <laughs> on my trip from my outfits. Um, and then we have some clothes, so we're gonna get into the outfits now. All right, so here is the first dress. It is like this nice, pretty oatmeal color, halter neck, low open back. Ignore the mess, you guys. Obviously, I told you guys I'm leaving in the morning, so. But this, fire. Like, this is really, really, I really like this. This is really nice. It's a little big for me. Um, so, I, if they do have a smaller size, I should have probably got that. I honestly do think this was probably the smallest size. You guys know I'm just very tiny. Um, but I really, really like this. I'm considering bringing this. We're saving this for vacay, but then again, when am I, when am I going on vacay? Yeah. But, oh, actually, while we're at it, I also got this bag from Lulu's. How cute is this beach bag? Like, this is so cute. They have a lot of different ones, so I was kind of overwhelmed. And this wasn't my first pick, but I'm actually really happy that I decided to go with this one. This is so so cute all right next we have this tank top it's cropped i just tucked it in because um, i got a tiny torso and then, and then i got these super cute black ribbed shorts i think these are like workout shorts but you know i would wear these for anything like just to go out i might bring these um to be honest and they have a little logo right there these these are like super tight on me they fit me really good. Next, I have this sheer white t-shirt. Next, I have this round neck t-shirt. So this is a little bit more on the sheer side. So I got to cover up, you know, the tatas. But I really do like this. If you have a bra underneath or just put on some pasties, you're good to go. It's pretty cropped. Um, it's super tight fitting. I really, really like this. This with some jeans or some leggings and some heels is totally my vibe all right so we got a little ribbed on ribbed action going on i could not wait to try on this bodysuit because anything tight fitted and ribbed does my body like really really good so i'm throwing this in the suitcase and i honestly i might take these shorts so it's the same shorts as before but y'all like the girls are sitting having me reconsider getting my boob job like literally it's just, it's, it's giving. <laughs> um, yeah, this is so cute. As you guys can see, it's a bodysuit. Just wanted to show you guys the bodysuit. This is a very, very nice material as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lulus. Okay, so this dress is fire. They have this in black as well. And I was going to get the black, but I just wanted to get, like, just, you know, something more summery, more pop of color. I don't ever wear this color. This is, like, a magenta. But I really, really like it. Um, it has a very, very low back, so you got to lower the underwear. But look at that. This is so sexy. So I think I'm going to bring this. <laughs> This looks really, really good. Like, I really like this. This is different. I don't ever wear this color. And even with like the silver Bottega clutch, like, this is a look. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna throw in throw in the suitcase. All right. So this is the last um, piece of clothing. I have like like two cover ups, but this is the last dress that I got from them. And this is not something I would typically wear, but I think this is so like so cute you have the string to tighten it so i can't oh yeah 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 <laughs> i'm so annoying oh yeah this is so cute Hold on, let me just tighten this real quick okay so i just threw on a heel because i'm actually considering taking this with me one the color is bomb but like this is just this is really cute you guys like this is this is fire. I hope this is fire. This is so sexy. I could do this with like a brunch look. Oh my god. 
I said I wasn't gonna pack too much stuff, but, but Lulu's is honestly right now Lulu's is making me want to take like so many extra stuff. So I'm a little conflicted. I don't know what to do, guys. Got this cover up. It is so long, and like this is such a vibe. Yes. Ow. <laughs> really really pretty it's really really long I'm not quite sure how I would style this as yet but like this is fire like this is so cute and <laughs> this is so cute this swimsuit cover-up or it's a scarf actually but you can wear it as a sarong which I think is really really cute I love the color like the neutrals the pastels this with like a nice white bikini nude bikini even like a baby blue bikini would be such a vibe and then lastly there's actually something I wanted to show you guys about one of the jewelry pieces so the ring actually comes in a cute pouch like this I gotta make it darker so you guys can see that's the brand of the ring Brock or sorry not Brock Brick and York and because like when I take this out, I'm like oh what's in here you literally just put the ring in there and you got yourself a little protective case and it is suede it's very very good quality it's cute and baby pink I'm gonna take mine out because I'm gonna wear mine in the morning I can make this later again yeah I'm gonna wear mine in the morning so I'm just gonna place this out um, with my airport fit but yeah that is everything for um, my haul with Lulu's those are all the pieces I got I liked everything really really well I ended up taking out the magenta dress just because you guys remember my birthday dress dilemma I don't feel comfortable wearing anything open back right now I have this big ass scar and then I have a big scar in the middle of my back from working out like I'm just so bruised up right now um so I just switched it out for another pink dress that I have my head is pounding. I'm up super late. I should not even be awake right now. I had to get, you know, this haul out the way before I leave because I might be gone for a little while. Um, so yeah, thank you Lulu's for sponsoring today's video and I'm going to get some rest. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. guys um, as you guys saw today um i worked out this morning so i started going two weeks ago and then i took a couple days off i, t I took a couple days off to rest and now it's game time <laughs> sorry i had to i had to <laughs> i'm so annoying but um yeah i started a meal 
sorry, I started a new fitness thing. I just want to take some time um, to work out on my personal goals. You know when you just want to do things yourself? Um, yeah, I've been following this girl for a really long time. Her name is Alyssa Marie Body. I've been following her, like, before she had her kid, her daughter, who's, like, now, like, five or six. I've seen some of her progress all of, um over the years and her progress is just amazing we have very similar body types and she also did like the the gaining and i don't know her everything it, it's just you know that's why i also feel like with fitness i feel like there can never be too many fitness influencers or fitness trainers or just people because there's always somebody who is specifically gonna you can relate to like we have same body types the same journey like she tried to gain weight and then when she gained weight you know you had the extra fluff and it comes with it. So seeing her bot, like it's just very realistic. I've followed and tried to follow workouts to look like specific people when we don't even have the same body type. And then I'm left disappointed. <laughs> um, that's why I feel like it, like I really feel like there can never be too many fitness people because there's always, you're always gonna cater to somebody. Like, you know what I mean? But it's going well. It's going very, very well. I'm just taking a break from training at um, Club Energy. I'm definitely going to go back. Y'all know my girl Julia's there and all the wonderful trainers there. Like, I'm friends with them as well. But, you know, I'm just trying to save some money. And the, my home gym is open, right? And it's literally downstairs. I don't have to be down there at 7 a.m. sharp. Or, you know what I mean? Like, um, I just want to do that. Plus, also, you guys know I'm saving for... Not saving. I have the money, but... I'm just trying to cut down costs where I can, like unnecessary costs, because I'm getting a new car, I'm moving soon, and just priorities. So that's obviously a very smart thing for me to do. I feel like I'm rambling. Anyways, yeah, and then I got my lashes filled today, finally. Actually, they actually weren't that bad. The new glue my sis is using has been, this is the best. Like, I actually canceled my appointment last week because I felt like I didn't need a fill yet. So, and then I got my brows tinted. You guys probably can't tell too, too much because I washed my face and stuff. But I feel like my brow, no, you can't, you can tell because my brows are usually very sparse. But your girl got, yes, okay. I feel so much prettier without makeup. You guys know the lashes are already it for me, but my brows are very like right here is always missing hair and here and here. So it kind of faded a bit, but I'm going to show or put in a video of when I first got them done. They look really, really good. So shout out to my sis, Darlene. But anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys some products. Okay. So I got the Dr. Brandt. Let me turn this up a little bit. My camera's dying. Of course it is. Uh, this is the Dr. Brandt Pore is No More Pore Purifying Cleanser. I've been using this for the past couple of days. Y'all look at my chin. I need to, like, I, I get anxiety, I get stressed, and I pick up my face. And I pick up my eyebrows. That's why we have a tint, and I'm trying to get rid of this. I'm getting a facial soon. But this has salicylic acid, tea tree oil, and white willow bark. I love anything with tea tree oil. And salicylic acid is very good for your skin. And white willow bark, I'm not really, I don't really know how good it is. But I've used products that have it, and... It's worked pretty well, but I know Dr. Brent is a very, very like popular brand. They're definitely more on the expensive side, I'm pretty sure. But it's because like they're one of those really, really good, reputable brands. And I've actually always wanted to try them. I just never, you know. Um, so I got that. This, oh my god, I love like when I say I love this moisturizer, it's a very like non-traditional bottle, but this is a moisturizer. Um, the brand is Malin or Malin and Goetz. It's a vitamin E face moisturizer. When I tell you guys this moisturizer is so soft. Or it makes your face so soft. Like, I'm not even joking. But if you do know vitamin about vitamin E, then you know that vitamin E is... I don't really know, like, the wording. But I just know that vitamin E is very good for getting rid of, like, scars, blemishes. It's Whether it's the oil or moisturizer, but vitamin E oil is very soothing, moisturizing. It's very very good for you very good but no like my skin and it smells really really good too i don't know is this what vitamin e smells like girl i don't know but this smells amazing it's not like super fragrant and strong i don't like super strong smelling or fragrant 
like moisturizes i like it to smell good but like a natural soothing scent but yeah so. returned some of those stuff at zara i didn't go end up going the same day because i didn't realize that the mall was about to close i don't know why they still have malls closing at seven when we're back into like regular scheduled programming like i just feel like seven o'clock is very very early for to be closing the malls even on fridays and saturdays they close it at seven i think even like I mean, I know malls used to close at 9, but like, come on, 8 o'clock maybe? 7 is just way too early. Like, whatever. Anyways, I ended up finding two more things at Zara. Zara is just, if you know, you know. But this, you guys know I love me some blouses. It looks like this. So it's like a um, short sleeve blouse. I'm just going to put it on so you guys can like kind of get an idea. Of it. But it's just obviously it'll look a lot better <laughs> um, if I actually wear it properly. But it's just like this, and then you just you can tie it how you want. I hope it actually looks cute on camera. Okay, just bear with me, y'all. If you see the vision, you gotta envision it. <laughs> but um, you can like crisscross it around your body. But I kind of actually like how it would look with like the long loose string with some pants Hold on. like look at this this is so cute if you just hide this and i would wear my skims tape so you know the titties could just be um not even that because i don't want a nip slip either so i would have to make sure you know whatever but like tell me this is not so freaking cute oh my god eats is here but yeah like look at this you guys look at this and then the back just looks like I'm wearing granny panties right now. Might be TMI, but I don't care. Just in case you guys see my underwear line. Yeah, let's just move away. But this is so cute. Like, I think this is this is so cute with some denim. So on that note, I found another pair of denim shorts. So I'm noticing with the Zara shorts, for my body type, and like, because I don't have like a super big butt, like I'm small, so... Any other shorts that are like too baggy, too loose in the butt area, it does not, it just gives pancake. So the only, not, well so far from what I've noticed, I literally just started buying Zara shorts. Um, so I noticed the high rise, it, actually, it has to actually be called high rise. So the high rise collection fits me way better. It's obviously more like the booty Daisy Duke type short thing, but on me because I'm so petite. I'm still like a size two, size four. I think I'm more of a size four now in Zara because I got these in a size four. Um, but once my waist shrinks, I'm definitely gonna have to get these taken in because they're already kind of loose in that area. And you guys know I'm toning up. But now finally getting getting into size four because it doesn't matter how thick I look, I'm tiny. Um, but these were $35. I got a size four. Um, change rooms are still closed, so that's why I just grabbed it. These were, this one was on sale. I think this shirt was like, I'm pretty sure I need to go off the tag because I know I'm not bringing this back. Um, it was $15. I think it was originally 30 something, but yeah, I was on sale for 15 
surprisingly. I actually thought it was regular price because I was like, I never saw this last time. And it looks like it's a new shirt, you know, but girls are already having them sales. Anyways, that's what I got from Zara. I want to show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works because I've never purchased these before. I don't remember whose story I was watching like two weeks ago. And they posted that they like read up on a bunch of their, the wall scents or whatever. I've never purchased them before, but I realized like, honestly, I don't always want to burn candles to make my house smell good. Because like sometimes I'll fall asleep or I'm leaving my house. I want my house to smell good all the time, even when I'm not lighting a candle. So and they had five, was it the five wall scents for $27? And then I got three different, um, what do you call these? wallflowers for three different parts of my apartment i'm gonna put one in the front one in my living room one in my bedroom these are actually kind of expensive this one was 650 so this one's pretty cheap but one was like 13 dollars. i'm like damn then i got this black one most of them are sold out so this is what i um was able to choose from and you guys know i need neutrals and obviously needs to match my decor this one was $7.50, just plain black. So I'm probably going to put this in my bedroom because my bedroom is chrome and black and white. Probably going to put this at the front. Yep. And then this is going to go in my living room. This one was literally, oh, $11.50. Either way. So, honestly, they had no testers for me to find out. Why, why is the camera just on my titties right now? You guys... I don't know how to fix this crop thing. Like as soon as you click record, it crops the screen even closer than it than it already is. It's really annoying. I don't know how to fix that, but I'm gonna figure it out. Anyways, so I just made the guy help me. I forgot his name, but shout out to him. He was super helpful. I love when people just love to do their job. Like, you know, this is why you, why you're here. Some people you ask them questions and then they're just like, oh, I don't know, whatever, whatever, and then walk away before you even say, oh, thank you, that's that's all. He was like, oh, girl, I got you. Like, what what type of scent you like? And then I was like, I don't know, cause I don't know none of these scents. And he gave me his top fives. He even went to go get candles that were the same scent, so I could actually smell what it was like. I just love when you know. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. First one I got is cactus blossom. Well, I can open them now. Also, you can return them, I think, within 30 days with your receipt if you don't like it. But I'm about to plug some of these in. Oh, this smells good. I can already smell it. How do I? Like, I really, really don't. Hold on. It's hurting my hands. Okay. We'll figure that out after. Cactus Blossom. In the stars, these were all his recommendations. In the stars, mahogany. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's supposed to be five. Why is there six in here? I don't remember picking. It, this better have been free. Oh, hell no. One. Oh, hold on. Six. Okay. So. That makes sense because I only picked up five. I don't know why mahogany coconut is in here, but I'm gonna smell it and see if I like it. Um, black cherry merlot. I had the candle to this. This smells really, really good. It's funny because you know, homeboy that I told y'all about before, you know, whatever. Like, this was like maybe a year ago. He told me I saw him lighting this candle and I asked him how it smelled. And then I went to buy it, and it was really good. So since then, I've really, really liked this fragrance. Mahogany Teakwood obviously was all me, if you know. This is my favorite candle scent from Bath & Body Works. And then Vanilla Birch. I don't remember. Like, what? Hello? Hello? Sorry? Oh, yes, I ordered food. It's downstairs? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'm coming to get it. Okay, bye. It's just my uh, concierge telling me that <laughs> my food is down here. Um, yeah, so those are the six that I got. I'm going to open them all and smell them.
do you like what's tea oh i was doing it the wrong way hold on what's going on here i'm supposed to turn it oh this smells so good okay cactus blossom is a hit for sure that smells so good you guys Oh, you actually spin them in... Okay, so it's the opposite direction that I'm used to. That's why. Hold on. Opposite direction. I already know black cherry smells good, so I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to smell in the stars. It smells good. It's not like, oh my God, but it smells good. Mahogany coconut that I picked up by accident. I actually... I kind of like this one better. Yeah, I like that one better. And then vanilla birch. I'm not even like a vanilla person like that. So we'll see. And then here's vanilla birch. Oh, this smells really good. Mmm. Oh, shit. Yo, this smells so good. My faves are definitely... Girl... Vanilla Birch Cactus Blossom. I already know what mahogany smells like. I want to smell black cherry again. I'm going to return this one. It smells like grape soda. The candle smells good, but like I don't really... It's not giving. What I... It's giving very grape. I'm actually really happy. I picked up Vanilla Birch because it's actually my favorite out of all of them. That's crazy. Ever know how I pray? Blessing, my niece. I don't know. If so many times I said to myself, I'm a student, I'm a student, one day I'm not even, one day I'm not here, just a, here's just a ring. Then I wake up every, every morning, I say, this is a father that pray up her hand and her mouth. Keep her blessed, her hand, send blessing day and away. Ten times ten, I should not even know where it come from. Me. Oh, God, Dana. Now stop praying for you, my niece. Blessing of Pastor for blessing of anybody. Any day you tell me nobody, I try to curse you out. Just give me them name, come here, bring them name on the altar. I mean, I reverse it back. And no weapon that come up against them, any tongue. No friend where I try to condemn you and jealous over your me. As long as I'm alive, you're covered under the blood of Jesus. Oh, I mean, no, I'm not them hurt you. No. Mm -mm. Me. So when it come out to my family, then I mean, stand up to my family. I know. I have one thing with me. Anybody who know me, that is, even if everybody cannot say, see, Auntie Keisha, she will stand up for her family. I stand up for her. I now have to come with gun and weapon. But the, I come with my weapon, which is the Bible and the Word of God. More powerful than any two edged sword. Oh. You ever tell you, it's a little on the phone and see her body. Every time they look, she has to pick up the body. I don't know if she has a body. We said, in a real. Even I look for me, if your ass I get bigger, I said, what's the day now? A body I get, I get bigger than I see them body and a real body. I see a body real. <laughs> you know, I don't have jiggle jiggle body like them because any day that they sell the phone and the phone and see them body, I'm sorry for them. They might go have sit on for them, but you can't sit on. I said to myself, watch that. My niece now walk near to that because she's beautiful and pretty than them, and them are jiggle jiggle every day. Ah, 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 so on. I'm blessing us through your way, naturally, girl. Supernatural blessing that. Supernatural blessing that day now. And I feel like we are not making none of them with them fast, but it intimidates you. Oh, I want you for them. I'm going to ask you this. You didn't hear me say that I want to stop for them, but you can't stop. Hey, hey, baby, I got your money, don't you? I said, <laughs> um, hold on. I'm trying to fix this camera angle real quick. Good morning, you guys. Um, update on those wall plugs. I don't know what I was doing before because my house smells amazing and like i don't want that to sound like my house was smelling before i would just i use like room sprays i use um it's not it's not what i meant but um yeah like i'm more of like a candle person 
but it's just because I never tried these before. Like, I light candles, like, all the time. That's why I go through them, like, water. And I use room sprays. I don't know if I ever showed you guys what I got from HomeSense, like, last... It was, like, last year still. But, um, Sand and Fog, the brand Sand and Fog that has candles, has room sprays. I found one at HomeSense, like, several months ago. And I use that. Actually, I'm going to show you guys real quick. If I know... Oh, you know where it is. It's underneath. Let me put you guys on real quick. Um, so I got this from HomeSense a couple months ago. The brand Sand and Fog. If you guys, I mean, if you shop at HomeSense or you buy a lot of candles, you probably know this brand. But I didn't know that they had room sprays. I'm pretty sure these are new. Not anymore, but when I saw this. And this is Tropical Citrus. Mm, it smells so freaking good. I use the um, Reed diffusers. Like I have one in my bathroom. I don't have any out here, but I have one in my bathroom. I use room sprays and I light candles. But let me tell you, the intensity that the wall plugs give is like, I'm sorry, but it's unmatched. It's unmatched. My house has never smelled this like, it's not even this good, this strong and it's all the time. I took out the garbage this morning and I went downstairs to get something. I came right back into my apartment and it just smells so good. It smells so good. Like, girl. And obviously I told you guys, so I have one right there. Oh, I got a new vase from HomeSense because I was helping Julia find some stuff for her house. And then I saw this. And I really, really like this. My poor um, pompous is dying. But yeah, my table just looks like this right now. I took up the books and everything because mm. <laughs> I took up the books and everything because like, I don't know. It's just whatever. And then I also got this. Look at this. Look how cute. I forgot to show. Oh, my God. And I forgot to show you guys. Um, I didn't bring my camera because it was like last minute. I was on the road and she called me. So we met up. But look at this cute um, my dog already ate. I don't want y'all to think I'm starving her. She had her breakfast <laughs> and cleared the bowl. But um, I found this mat at HomeSense. I've purchased some before and I just never ended up keeping them or liking them because they just didn't fit with my vibe. But um, honestly, every time Chai drinks water, every time she's looking at me because she, she was bad. She peed on my carpet. So, anyways. Um... Every time she drinks water, it gets all over my floor, and I have hardwood floors, so can't be doing that. And then, I don't know where I'm going, but I was just trying to tell you guys about that. So yeah, I have a diffuser at the front. I have one by my work desk, and then I have one in my bedroom. My whole house just smells so good, you guys. I can't explain, and because they're all so strong, I, each room just smells like a whole vibe, and obviously the kitchen... Or the front of my apartment and kitchen smells like whatever that is. I don't remember what I put where. And then, yeah, it just smells really good. So if you've never tried the wall plugs, I know I'm super late, but if you've never tried them, I highly, not even recommend, I go, just go get it because it smells really, really good. I don't even know what to say. So I will definitely be um, stocking up on some more of those. And I went back to the same time I went I met up with Julia and I exchanged the the black cherry fragrance and I picked up another I don't remember what fragrance Julia told me to get, but I just got another um what is it she said it I don't remember, but it's blue. Whatever scent is blue, she said it makes her house smell really, really good. So I just exchanged it for that one. But anyways, so we're walking in Saks and we smelled some fragrances. We smelled Creed because they had a whole... I didn't know Creed had... I've never gone to the Creed counter. I've never looked into Creed, but I hear so much about it. I know it's expensive as hell. So I'm like, you know what? There was somebody there. They were having a sale. We should have got something because if you spend $250 or more, you get $50 off or $100. We didn't end up buying anything, but um, we smelled a bunch of Creed fragrances. And yo, Creed, I think that's going to be my next fragrance I'm going to buy. It's really expensive, but um, Millicene Imperial and Creed Aventus for her. 
And it's funny because the day or two before that, I went out with Alexis and that's what she was wearing. Cause I'm like, what are you wearing? She's like, Creed. I'm like, oh, that smells good. And we also went out to another, we went, we went to the studio after we went to eat at Casamoto and I needed perfume because I forgot to bring some. So she gave me her Creed to spray. And when I tell you, I, I went home, I changed into my PJs and went to sleep. You know, I was a little tipsy. And I woke up, all I could smell was the Creed. Like my whole bed smelled like Creed. My whole pajama smelled like Creed and she gave me the Aventus for her. So I picked up a tester of Aventus for her and the Baccarat. I don't, I don't remember, but I know there's two Baccarats. Um, the stronger one is what I liked more, but they didn't have any testers. So I just got like the regular Baccarat. But um, they both smell really, really good. But that Creed, <laughs> that Creed, you guys smell so good. The Millicene was my favorite at first. But as time went on, the Aventus for her is it's strong. If you like strong fragrances, it is strong. It's like, I feel like if you're in a room with a bunch of people who are all wearing fragrances, if you're wearing Creed Aventus for her, that's all people are going to smell. I could be wrong, but that's, that's the vibe and that's the impression that I got because that's all I could smell. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh... That is definitely on my list. But anyways, I'm going to make a matcha latte. My camera's dying. So I'm going to put you guys on the charger real quick. Make some matcha and some breakfast and get my day started. I might go back to the dealership to go look at a car. Just because my birthday is coming up. I'm going to put y'all on the charger real quick. I look like a crackhead. Oh, I also have to film an Instagram story for Vanity Planet. Oops, if you guys are like OG subscribers, you guys know that... I used to swear by these, like this brush set. They changed the name. This is the Radia, but um, yeah, I gotta film this shortly and hand that in for Instagram stories. I love simple sponsorships like this. Like, they're just fun. I mean, and it's skincare. I love anything skincare related. Hey, you guys. So, you know, I was getting ready to film my Vanity Planet sponsorship, and. <laughs> My batteries died for the, my AA batteries died for the brush cleanser, so I need some new ones. And I could have swore I bought backups because I always buy, I always buy backups, but I only have backups for my AAAs because um, I forgot that mostly everything in my house uses AAA batteries and not AA. And then I was going to meet at, well, I'm still going, but I'm meeting up with Julia. I'm taking you guys with me. We're going to go get some food because obviously we're hungry and we're gonna meet up at Yorkdale and have some lunch my lips are so dry and then we are gonna go to the Bottega store in Balenciaga she's trying to decide on a bag and she wants me to help her decide also for me for my birthday dress my birthday outfit for dinner um, I really need a silver clutch and I was looking everywhere so I might get the Bottega I don't know what it's called but there's a Bottega clutch and it's silver. But that's like the only one I can find. So yeah, girl, this, like I have to take a picture today because I didn't get a picture in an outfit I wanted to. And I'm about to take out my hair tomorrow. So I'm gonna come back home and do that as well. But yeah, I'm gonna leave now because I'm gonna go meet up with her. And I know traffic is crazy. I guess it's just meant to be. I'm just gonna film my stuff when I get back home. It's still early, so I'm good. I need to put on some toner. So my skin has just not been it. You guys probably saw it earlier. Like what happened? Yeah. <laughs> I pick at my skin and then it's like, yo, and it's like, it's, I just have so many white heads and they're like small, but you know when you can see that there's something inside? I used to be able to do this, hence why I still do it, but like my skin would not look like it looks like now. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. Yeah, I used to pop, pick at my face so much and maybe scar a little and it's gone within like a week or two. Like even when y'all thought I had perfect skin, I was picking at my face. You just couldn't tell. Little bumps with white heads in it and I will pop them. Stuff will come out. I don't even like, it's not even forcefully, just a little pop comes out it's a lot and then it scars which is like weird my skin never used to be like that so i really have to stop picking at my face but i just got really like anxious 
the past few days and I just like like I don't know it's really bad just using my dark spot toner from Ula I'm so happy they sent me they sent me another one when I did the sponsorship for them for the other products which I'm so happy about because you guys know this is my favorite toner and my skin was clearing up too last week it was clearing up and I just decided to do one two three <laughs> like why why am I like this why am I like this and I don't know if you guys can see but my nose is really red in the, in the middle because I have a, a breakout coming in I slept in my makeup two nights ago and my nose is so bad. Like, am I Rudolph? Like, what's going on? It's giving Rudolph. I have to leave in like the next five minutes. <laughs> I don't know where I'm gonna eat. What am I gonna eat? I'm so hungry. Oh, there's Joey's. There's also Cheesecake Factory. Um. So I know I wanted to say, so I noticed that in the States, like Cheesecake Factory, you guys are not even phased by it. It's like a, is, is cheese, I think what, Cheesecake Factory, is it like an olive garden for you guys? We don't even have that either, I don't think so. But, um, we got Cheesecake Factory, I think like two or three years ago. And I think, to be honest, I still think it's the only one location we have in, from what I know, in Ontario or Toronto. And it's so good. Like, only thing is I hate that you can't make reservations. It's so busy. So if you walk in, you either have a 20-minute wait or, two, or a two-hour wait. And they give you that, like, the beeper um, thing. So you, like, obviously kill time, walk around in the mall. But, like, I don't know. I think we need more locations. I feel like we need to make reservations because I'm always in the mood for cheesecake. Like, they're... Chicken Bellagio, that is my go to. That shit is so good. So freaking good. Um, this is a moisturizer that I got from Fab Fit Fun. I'm doing a sponsorship with them as well. This was for the summer box, but um some stuff happened. I got my box late and then they want me to do fall now. So I did tell you guys about this product, but I don't think that stuff is gonna go live like in one of my vlogs but just know this is a very good moisturizer it's a vitamin e face moisturizer and this cleanser i've been using from them as well it has salicylic acid tea tree oil and white willow bark it's the pores no more dr brand pore purifying cleanser and this is what's also been clearing up my skin i mean now like i kind of messed everything up so you can't tell but here was really really i can't believe it like why would i do this to myself I had like really dark marks here and this was like really helping i know it's the salicylic acid and stuff but anyways we are good i'm not dressing up i'm just wearing this t-shirt from express i love these little shirts why is my hair wet oh it's lotion i'm wearing that with my wolford leggings the ones with the little hole in them i'm trying to see if i can go to wolford this week and get a new pair but i ordered these on essence and they were on sale so and i made them sell out because i told y'all to buy them on my instagram stories and y'all sold it out so now i can't get a pair um so yeah i kind of want to get this and then i kind of want to get one of their body suits so um yeah i'll see you guys at the mall <laughs> oh my neighbors are calling me from my mom's house ah <sighs> Hello. Yo, I got a question, Dana. Hey. What's up? Hey. Dude, can I use your basketball court? Here. Mm -hmm. 
can have it like this as well. The shoulder. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That's cute. Like a little... I don't know you can do this. It's cute. A little shoulder bag. Um, I wanted to see the silver. Can I see the silver? Yeah. Here you are. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> oh my god, it's like the bubble wrap. Yeah, yeah. This is the one I did like, but this is like, I guess because it's calfskin. This one's nice too, but I like the bubbles. Which one? For me? Yeah. Yeah, silver. Just remember my shoes. Yeah, and then, wait, how did you um do that to make it like a handbag? Oh. Here. I like that it's so versatile in that way where you can change up in different looks. You can make it to a clutch, a shoulder, crossbody. So stretchy. You can dress it up, dress it down. It yeah. Looks it looks so good. You like it? Better than this one? Yeah. yeah. And it's unique, you know? It is. It definitely is. I feel like all Bottega stuff are like yeah, it's very, very different. different. Very different. Very good material, leathers. Mm -hmm. Is that a paper bag? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> it literally looks like a paper What's the material? Is it leather? There's the interior. Can I see it? Yeah. That's great. Hey, well, this, tell me this does not look like a paper bag. Oh, it's le so it's leather. What is this? What's the material of this? So there's the paper that is coated with uh, protection of it. Wow. That's crazy. So it's actually paper, like a paper bag, and there's then they some, just coated it. There's some it. form material, yes, with, with paper inside. And they coated it. How much is this? That's one. This one here, 2,500. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> that is actually crazy. Um, well, her shoes are... Yeah. Wait, so you don't have any of the stretch mesh sandals, not even to try on? Like, no colors? Right now, no, but again, I think my car, when they do come in, I can reach out to um, you, know. Okay. Anything else you want to <laughs> So, originally, I didn't even know about this clutch. It was this one I knew about. It's calf skin. I had no idea. It's like $3,000. $3, I know. I know. I asked about the paper bag. This one. <laughs> 2500 I know. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, I'll come back if anything. Alright. Bye. Bye, thank you. Oh wow, it's worth the thought. It oh, I know that guy. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, we're at the Balenciaga store. That guy, the black guy in there, I came in here one time and he, um, I forgot. I was trying to find a belt and he gave me his number to like check like if I need help or anything. And I forgot to text him. More what? Casual. So, like, what? Do you want casual like thing, no, or you want dressy? Do, like, both. I love. I don't know. I just love like. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but like, we'll see with this. That's a great one. You're not allowed to record in the store. Oh. Yeah. Hot run few. They got the Amina Muadis. These are so cute. Yeah, did you wear it, right? Is anybody working here? Yeah. I look like that. 
Hey guys, so um, I forgot that you can't really record in certain designer stores, so. We went to Dior. Well, we went to Balenciaga. I probably got like three seconds of a clip. <laughs> and then he's like, no. And then I went to Dior. And then we went into Louis. I want the structural one, but I think I, I might do the Neverfall. Bitch, who are you spending for? <laughs> How much was the 250 off? 4400 On a bag. And we ordered steak and sushi. This is Julia's go-to, but I got it because, I don't know, I wanted to try something new. You guys, if you don't know, I eat Joey's all the fucking time. And I get the same thing. This sounds really, really good. And I'm, like, trying to get more into sushi. I just eat dynamite rolls. That's all I eat. <laughs> dynamite rolls is the best roll. Yeah. I'm not into all that other stuff. I don't even eat sashimi, but it looks so good. And everyone says it tastes so good. <laughs> so I do want to try it, but, um... Ooh, try to stick Oh, there's probably sashimi at Dasha for my birthday because it's a thing. I just want to get like, you know? <clears throat> so, we are going to try this. Put the snake in the sauce. So, what's the lime for? What does the lime go on? So, I don't know. Just put the soy sauce on the sushi? No, no, no. In the bowl. Oh, and then dip it. Oh, you didn't take the lime out? I just poured it. Alright, so. We're about to try, I already know the steak is good. It's tataki steak, but we're about to try this sushi. And there's tempur crispy tempura. Mmm, okay. All right, guys. It's good. You don't like it? No, I like it. Oh, oh, oh. It's good. That is good. Yo, I cannot with the flies. Oh my god. Hi guys. Hey, it's not on you. <laughs> hey you guys, I'm at my mom's house. It's like later in the night. I'm just laying in the you know the room that black people have that has furniture that nobody goes know? in? The wait, wait, wait. The not the dining room, because dining is where you eat, right? I don't know, but everybody knows this room, okay? The room that no one goes in with all the, the extra couches. I'm here laying on the couch. And Mia really wants to vlog. I didn't bring my camera, which I told her. Hi, baby. But she wants to say hi to her friends. Hi, vlog. Here, vlog. You wanted to vlog, so. And then here's a little dog, Chai Chai, here. Mm -hmm. Because he's cute. Look at her hair. Yeah. Who did your hair? Auntie Joy. My mom. <laughs> My mom did her hair. My mom's upstairs. Yeah, because... Let's see I, the twist. Your hair is getting so long. Turn around. Yeah, because Auntie Joy, Auntie Keisha makes my hair longer. Yeah. Yeah, because I make it long. It's so, so pretty and long. Yeah, but how long is this going to be finished? Whenever you want it to be. I want to do it. You're done? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you say goodnight because I'm going home too and it's your bedtime. Okay. Good night, vlog. I'll see you tomorrow. Give them a kiss. Mm. And a hug. I love you, vlog. <laughs> okay, um bye guys. Good night. You going you going to bed? Give me a hug. Yeah. Love you. Bye. Oh, can I see the vlog now? Look crazy. Good morning you guys. Um I just Finished working out at the gym and I'm on my way to get my nails done. Yesterday I did my um, stories and sponsorship and everything, handed that in, everything was good. 
And yeah, this morning I woke up. I actually like to keep it a book with you guys. I haven't worked out in like four, four days or three days. I don't know. It feels like it's been a week because I've been working out so much. So I just have not been in the mood, but I'm getting my hair done today. I'm getting a frontal, so you already know how that's gonna go. I'm definitely not gonna work out until like after the weekend. So I just needed to get the last bit of my workout before my birthday. <laughs> so I did that this morning. It was upper body day and then I did some cardio. And yeah, now I'm here. Took a quick shower. I didn't have time to make a shake or anything because my ass decided to lay in bed. So I'm gonna, I don't know, I'm probably just gonna get back home. But anyways, I'm gonna go get my nails done. I'm going to Lavish Beauty Bar. I told you guys about them before. And I actually wanna change my nail shape to square. I have oval right now. I'm finally gonna do some French tips because like, I don't care, it's my birthday. If I have to add tips on, I'm adding acrylic, okay? I don't care, I need the French tips. I was trying to look a lot more presentable for my appointment, but girl, I don't even have time to fix my hair. It doesn't make sense to straighten it because I'm about to take my hair out when I get back home. So the only thing saving me right now is this hat, and I already look like a crackhead. But if you guys care to know what I'm wearing, I'm wearing this J Lux label bodysuit. Ooh, my waist looking a little snatched there. And then I'm wearing my black skims. Shorts, and then I'm just gonna bring my Louis Vuitton crossbody and my black slides that I got from Nasty Girl. I like, I'm so obsessed. Let me go. Okay, I'm so obsessed with these sandals. Ignore my recycling, guys. I'm about to um, take these out when I leave. I love these slides, okay? They're actually so cute. Period. They are so freaking cute. I hope they're still available. If they are, I'm actually going to link it for you guys. Because, no, like, uh, they're a little big. You know, I have really small feet. They are a size 5, and I am a size 5. And I know it's not giving. I'm wearing my size, but, yeah. Anyways, that's besides the point. These sandals are so cute. They're super comfy. I wear them, like, all the time. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll link them down below. today you know energy but i don't know what's happening 
like it's fine like I have the rest of the week I'm just learning it's just like, there's other days you know what I mean so we do kind of have a dilemma um, I ordered ordered two dresses I ordered um, one from poster girl like last week Sunday not even the yeah not this past Sunday last week Sunday and then I ordered a last minute dress at from house of CB I really I'm trying not to drive too crazy right now because I'm like you guys are up on my thing my dash it's really hot oh my god holy um yeah I ordered a dress from house of CB and their shipping is two to three days either way um, they're both supposed to come in time One okay the poster girl is this FedEx truck driving I'm like you know what it doesn't even matter it does not even matter um but my poster girl dress is for Sunday I just need my dinner dress from House of CB from or for today and it was supposed to be delivered on Monday it's Wednesday now I got an email that the shipping was delayed and um, I don't really know why because also FedEx did the same thing with my poster girl dress so both dresses from two different couriers are delayed I don't know what's what's going on with delaying everybody's thing and it's funny because I saw this meme on Twitter the other day about if your package if you're if you ordered from UPS and waiting for your package and it says it's currently in Mississauga you might as well go and pick it up yourself like apparently this is like a thing they do you might as well just go pick it up yourself sis like why has my dress been in Mississauga for two days why can't you why is it not delivered when it's supposed to be delivered Mississauga is not I get it but no that was just funny that was really funny I was literally about to call them this morning I couldn't deal with it last night I was just doing too much but I was gonna call them call them this morning and just tell them listen it's my birthday and if this dress cannot be delivered by noon I'm gonna come pick it up oh uh, yeah I was about to pull one of those because I'm not having that and I just got an email like as soon as I got in my car it says UPS delivered my dress so thank you um my poster girl dress is supposed to come it's it says expected yesterday okay so what is what's What's the ETA that now? Like, what? Yesterday's gone. Like, we know that. I swear to God, these people put my address to the wrong address. Girl, I don't even know. I'm just gonna um, stop by my dad's car shop. To be like, it's my B day, baby. What? Oh my God, I'm about to play this song. What? What am I doing? Listen, I did not play. Period. Hold on. I'm gonna get Aki and Selfish and Kalalu, um, Plantain, and can I get Banana and Dumplin? Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, please. to my dad's he wanted me to pick up some breakfast well it was more like if i wanted food so he gave me money to get food and then obviously to get him something i went to this restaurant called sweet spice i've never i've obviously had it before because whenever i go to my dad's and he has food it's probably from here
yeah, like, I've just been getting hit on, like, no tomorrow. Because if you know, if you know Brampton and you know Kennedy Road, yeah, the plaza with the barbershop and Sweet Spice and right across from, what is it, AAA Mall? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, it's just niggas everywhere. And I'm, like, hiding in my car right now, but it's really, really hot. Um, but yeah, I ordered, um, what's it called? Oh, that helps. Literally niggas everywhere. And I'm just, um, hiding in the car. Not hiding, but you didn't know how that goes. But I got a drink. I never personally bought Jamaican food from here but they have juices so this is mango and ginger I love anything with ginger in it like even my regular smoothies when I make spruit smoothies I add ginger and of course I'm Caribbean so of course I love mango so we're gonna see how this tastes Ooh, that ginger is strong but this is so good it's really good they had on um, like um, cucumber and celery pineapple and mango i was gonna get that one but yeah i love me i love my ginger um for real i blame my grandma but um this is really good and then y'all saw i got some food i got this man is just staring at me and i'm so uncomfortable i'm just acting like i'm on the phone but whatever man is staring at me my fucking people um <laughs> I got Aki Sawfish Callaloo. I'm just gonna like leave now because this is very awkward. I got Aki Sawfish Callaloo. And um, Dumpling. Oh shit. I didn't even ask if they had fried dumpling. You know what? No fry no fry fry today. Can't be eating no fry fry food like that till tonight. Anyways. Yo, when I tell you guys this area, like Queen and Kennedy, like these plazas on Kennedy Road. Oh, it's not even Queen and Kennedy. This is Kennedy and where am I, where am I right now? Kennedy and Ooh, I don't know, but wherever AAA is, that intersection, the plazas over there, it's literally like little Jamaica. Or just like Jamaica town. And I'm so mad I wasn't just vlogging because this Jamaicans are the funniest. I just drove by this man and he's like, <laughs> this man's like, pretty little dolly, yes. No, no, what do you say? Pretty little dolly, look. You're sweet to bits. <laughs> he looks like he's like 50. That was so funny. I really wish you guys heard what this man just said. It was so funny. I don't care. Jamaicans are the funniest. Like, I, no. Especially when they're complimenting you, bro. I'm, I'm so mad. I wish I was recording. That was so funny. I can't wait to like get my hair fixed later. We didn't straighten it or anything. I mean, we hot combed it. She hot combed it last night and it was laid, but obviously I slept. <laughs> oh, this is Chai's. Um, you guys are probably like, what the fuck? It's from Chai's car seat. But no, this man just made my day. <laughs> just made my day, bro. Yo, you know when you have so many things to do and you just like... You just feel so... You just feel so discombobulated. Like, what is, what's the vibe, sis? What are we doing next? There's too much to do. But, yeah, I'm really... It's hot, yo. I'm trying to thug it out for you guys because it's loud as hell when I put down my window. This juice is going like fire. Pretty little dolly. Oh my god, I just missed my dad's car shop. First entrance. Okay, so we're both turning. So you turn first. Guys, the side of my face never breaks out. And voila. I need to stop picking up my face. It's disgusting. I really do. <laughs> We're here. Hey guys, so I'm at Bottega. I ended up coming here because the tra traffic rush hour, it's better to come now than later. 
I won't, like I won't, it doesn't make sense. So, um, I didn't know that, this is the one I originally wanted, but um, I guess when I looked online, I clicked on the bigger one. That's $3,000, I'm not buying a clutch for $3,000. So that's why I'm like, all right, I'll get this one. And I'm just happy that I asked. This one's calfskin. It's a very thick leather, very thick, like good quality leather. And um, this one's like, as you can hear, it's like bubble wrap. And it's like, it feels like plastic. So this is like, yeah. So I'm just waiting for her to bring me a brand new one. Um, so yeah, like, I don't know. This one's actually the same price as this one. I thought it was 3000 but um, I clicked on the bigger one on the website. I'm like, say what? <laughs> this is the one I wanted anyways. So thank God I asked because I would have ended up buying that one, which is still nice, but this, like, the material is not even comparable at this point. So I'm just waiting, and then I'm gonna go home and stuff. I'm so tired. Thank you, Betty. No problem. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. I love this guy. Do you guys have the one with the strap too, or just this one? Do you want the one with the strap? Can I see it? Yeah. I'll give you an actual one if you want. Uh, actually, so can I get one of them and then get an extra one? So when I bought the stretch sandals, mm -hmm. I didn't realize the other side of the bag was ripped. Yeah, I'll give you, I'll so, give you this one. Okay. So you can put this inside. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I love the bags. <laughs> They're cute. Mm -hmm. There you go. Thank you. No Happy problem. Day. Day. All right, thanks. <sighs> thanks so much. Take care. Happy birthday. Thank you. Hey, you guys. I am home. <laughs> I just finished cleaning my house. I just have to vacuum my rug and take a shower give chai a shower because it's about that time i didn't even tell you guys but chai's a leo too um i'm black so i don't celebrate like dogs or pets birthdays but you know i did wish her a happy birthday i did post on instagram i didn't end up doing anything for her i just gave her a little extra treat <laughs> and i gave her her favorite um wet food so yeah boo boo we're both celebrating our birthdays today come boo boo hi baby hello leo gang as soon as i came home i pulled up to the front of my building and i still hadn't got the text from my building for like a delivery notification um because they still have to like scan everything in i went to the front my case sir it says there's a package delivered this morning I need you to find it. I know it hasn't been signed in yet to the system that I have a package, but it's here. It's my birthday. Please find it. And he found it. So my dress is here. Thank you. <sighs> Look at God. But I've been staying positive all day, regardless of how many things have gone wrong. I'm not gonna tell you guys because um, we don't need to focus on that. But what? Stress out the what? So, ow. I haven't even tried it on to see if it fits, but I'm pretty sure, well not I'm pretty sure, I'm, I've only worn extra small in House of CV. And although I have gotten a lot thicker, like, um, I just, this is good too, do they know what's, oh they do know what's my birthday. But I wonder if that's why they wrapped it. Probably not. <laughs> it just, you're not that special. Aaliyah and Darlene, you guys know my lash girl. And y'all already know Aaliyah. Um, they're both, we're all friends. <laughs> like, really close friends. So, they're coming over to do my makeup. And I'm going to vlog it because, like, when have you guys ever seen me get my makeup done by someone? Um, which is very, very exciting. I'm nervous. Well, she's bomb. I'm probably the only person that actually let touch my face. Hence why I asked her to do my makeup. This year, I just didn't want to have, like, I just didn't want to worry about doing anything. Like, I planned everything for the most part in advance. And even though things went wrong with 
not even sure if I told you guys, but um, when I started calling around restaurants, it was supposed to be at Harbor 60 and they had a COVID outbreak. I found out on the news, okay, after, they didn't even like email me back or anything, but I found out on the news that they had, not even me, Alexis found out and told me. Just not gonna lie, this looks tight. I'm scared. I'm really scared. You know what? We're just gonna it's gonna work today. I don't care. I'm actually really scared, you guys. Oh my god. I'm gonna see everything with the clutch and stuff too. I actually need to do this now. We're not being negative. It's gonna fit. I'm about to figure this out right now, so I will let you guys know. What I did want to tell you guys is, I told you guys this. These smell so good. So the one at the front is done because it stays plugged in all the time. And I don't know if I also told you guys this, but these light up. That's why they're a little bit more expensive. I highly recommend because like in the nighttime, it's a little, little vibe, you know, a little night light. This is the one that I was telling you guys that Julia said is bomb and she said to get. And it's called Gingham. It smells really, really good. And she said it, she had at, at the entryway of her house so um i have people coming over later tonight after dinner and so the day party that i'm supposed to be going to on sunday um you guys saw when i went once i went to the very first one this year which was like the first week of june but they're basically saying that anybody who has gone for like the month of august to go get tested <laughs> because apparently there was a covid outbreak so obviously that's shut down so I have no day party plans now, so this is actually the only thing I'm doing for my birthday. It is what it is. Like, I'm not even, I don't have, like, it takes too much energy to be upset and mad when I still have things to be grateful for and thankful for. And honestly, the way I'm, I'm just happy to be alive and see 25 and be healthy and all that stuff. So it could be way worse. And that just means I can save my poster girl dress for Atlanta. I haven't booked my flight yet, but I'm, like, what am I waiting for? I don't know. I need to go travel. I know you guys want to see me travel. Like, we're bored, you know? And Aaliyah's going, so she's like, bitch, are you coming or not? <laughs> yeah, bitch, I'm coming. I'm gonna plug this in. I will see. I don't know why I put my nose up to like a crackhead like I'm supposed to smell something already, but you know, let it let it do its thing, and I will let you guys know how that smells. I'm gonna go try on this dress. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm really hungry. I didn't finish eating my ackee and salt fish. I need to have a protein shake. Oh, I need to go live with my Vanity Planet stories as well. Look at me working on my B day. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm so hungry. I might even go warm this up. Maybe I shouldn't tell you guys. That, but do it like no. I need to warm this up. What am I doing? Mmm, mmm, still good. Not gonna lie, I'm mad that homegirl forgot to give me my plantain. I don't even know if I paid for that. Maybe girl, that really would have been hitting right now. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, you know what? My nipples have no chill. It's fine through the nipple. I just don't want to get flagged. But, um, yeah, I'm really mad because the plantain would have just, the sweetness of that right now would have really hit the spot.
-hmm. Now booking September. Thank you so much. Come on, but I've been wanting to do this face for so long. It's like you're going to learn that. Like, how it's right that. at the yeah, base of the eyebrow when you just start there and mm -hmm. then just kind of diffuse it. And then you start there and then that comes into the nose, you know? Mm -hmm. Mia. Say hi, mommy. Yeah, let's go. 
wicked. You didn't even drive here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey to my bitch Dana. My dog from way back when. High school days, elementary days. I love you so much. I hope you prosper in life. More money, more blessings, more everything. My boss babe forever inspires me. And just love you to death. Oh, I love you. Friends like us. Good friends don't have to live next door. They might not use the same decor. Okay. I like that. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I'm trying. I know how close good friends can be because you are that friend to me. Guys, it's like later in the afternoon. I got so, I mean, it's my birthday. So yeah, I got so drunk. I've been hungover all morning. My head was pounding. Um, so I've just been sleeping all day. <laughs> um, but I felt so much love last night. I don't even, I didn't bring my camera after the dinner, but after the dinner, we went to Lavelle. Um, which was really nice. I think I've taken you guys there before. I can't even. I'm pretty sure I have. Um, but it's just like a, it's a lounge restaurant and like rooftop pool vibe. It's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, we just got, went for drinks after. Just everybody was just sitting down talking music, a vibe. Um, so I think the last time I actually really communicated with you guys was when I showed you guys that I got my dress and I was gonna go try it on you guys <laughs> so the dress did not fit like it was way too tight so I <laughs> it worked out because three of my friends had to get like zip it up on me but basically the like I, I was freaking out so I couldn't even I wasn't even thinking about vlogging put on the dress um, it fit over my hips, it hit, fit over my butt, zipping it up, it's zipping up fine until it gets to right here. So I could not get the dress to zip up from here to here, obviously because it's strapless, so that's where it ends. So, and it's one of those dresses where you need somebody to zip it up, like, you know what I mean? It's a very formal material. I'm an extra small in House of CB, but earlier in the day, I don't know if I told you guys, I was talking to Julia and... She also trains my friend Chantel. I think you guys know Chantel. And Chantel ordered a dress from there, extra small. Had to return it and get a small. Chantel is slimmer than me, but she's like she's taller. I almost cried. I cried. Like I teared up. And then I'm like, no, bitch. Like we don't have time for this. But yeah, you guys. So from five o'clock, <laughs> four thirty, five o'clock to seven thirty, I was basically not able to get the dress to zip up because I was home alone that whole time, just on the phone. I was on FaceTime with Alexis, Kiana. Um, I was waiting for Aaliyah and Darlene to come to do my makeup, but also waiting for them to come so I can get help. Kiana ended up having to come. She didn't end up coming to my dinner because, um, I don't know if you guys know, she has a son and he had soccer practice and just whatever. Like she wasn't able to make it, but she, she still pulled up, brought me some of her dresses. Um, I literally was like standing in the mirror trying to zip this up. I'm not gonna lie like looking in the mirror like The the zippers were way too far apart on my back to look like anything was gonna work But at one point I literally had to pull the dress all the way up and stand like this and I kept zipping I got a little bit further. Kiana came. She still could not get the dress to zip up on its own So we waited for Darlene and Aaliyah to come and the three of them zipped it up um, it was a sh little struggle, um, but it worked. And at that point, I didn't even care. Like, I was like, I don't care if I can't breathe. I don't care if I can't sit down properly. This dress needs to fit. It's not even like I had the other dress here. I ordered, <sighs> I'm really annoyed with post to right now because I paid express shipping on top of that. So yeah, it says it's still in Great Britain. So, I mean, I'm going to need my express money back because like, what is going on? And I tried on that green dress, if you guys saw my White Fox Boutique haul, the latest one. I tried to try that on again, girl, it was a hot mess. Anyway, so yeah, I, basically I had to make the dress work. 
I have cuts and bruises all over my back and my stomach because of the dress because it's like there's like a it's like a the this part of it is like a corset material yeah it hurts I'm gonna show you guys so um can you guys see that okay so we have some cuts here I didn't even know about all these until not too long ago this is all from the dress and then i have a big dutty one right here this hurt when i took off the dress oh my god but um yeah i'm selling that dress so if anybody wants it take it from me i kept going on the website to see like yo this doesn't even make sense because um the model like the measurements, like the extra small says two to four. You guys know I'm two to four. Girl, I don't know. Um, and I'm supposed to be going on a date later. They want to take me out for my birthday. What? Kylie Jenner is pregnant. Okay. Same baby daddy. Get it, girl. Actually, I don't care. None of my business, but I mean, that means they're good. Um, I want to open some of my gifts. I got roses. I literally just set these up. I got flower. Um, I don't know. I think I was vlogging at the dinner. Aaliyah got me some Michael Kors slippers. Darlene got me a bunch of candles. But I have some cards from some other friends. I think I read this on camera. I just want to open these. So this is from Alexis. This is from, it doesn't say. But for some, the glass is half full. For others, the glass is half empty. Bitch, I got money. <laughs> okay. For the girl who loves red wine, I hope you enjoy one of my faves. For the birthday girl, may the glass always be refilled. Happy, happy birthday. I pray God blesses you to see many, many more. Love always, Shantae and Tyree. So you guys know Chantal. Um... She was at the dinner, uh, the all-white party I went to. That's her. Her boyfriend is Tyree. They gave me money. Period. <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys, if you're watching this, Chantel. Thank you, boo. So she got me this, and she also got me. I didn't open it, but she got me, like, two bottles. I think, I don't know. She got me some red wine. I didn't open the bag. And then this is from my baby, Lex. Sometimes I just have to stop and remind myself how amazing it is to have a wonderful friend like you. You're so incredibly special to me and I couldn't be more grateful for everything we share. Happy birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, baby. Love you, Lex. Baby girl got me a gift card to Victoria's Secret. Girl, I need some new bras. Thank you, boo. I wish I got to open everything at dinner. I was so drunk, you guys. I feel so loved. And then... Um, yeah, I'm being taken out to eat later, so that should be good. Um, I'm just gonna, um, clean up. I need to edit a video hand -in. so hot today and humid it's crazy but i just i look like shit but i just test drove well it's just me in the car i just test drove the car i'm most likely gonna be getting it still feels like i already put a deposit down like just to hold it but it just still doesn't even feel like this is gonna be my car i don't know it feels so weird but i want to show you guys like the inside real quick um it's no it's actually really hot um, this is the CLA 250 2021 fully loaded and it has to get clean and stuff like that but it's used obviously I mean I don't care to buy a brand new car so yeah <laughs> you guys already know as soon as you take a car off the lot it depreciates so I don't care for the, the brand new shit I don't care um, this is just a really really good deal that I'm getting and it's a 2021 I was actually gonna do like 2019 but this is actually like 
around the same price that a 2019 would be so your girl got lucky the only thing is i don't really like the exterior color i still really really want white but there's nothing available right now so this is what the back looks like um so yeah i mean it's not bad it has everything i want has like the night package i'll talk to you guys more about it when i get home because i need to empty my memory card but it has every single thing i want it's just not the color i want all of which we serve julianne style just meaning it's thinly cut like a matchstick so there's five sprouts in the dish basil coriander shiso sprout which is a type of mint daikon and sunflower sprouts and then you have a garnish of roasted peanuts sesame seeds green onions and shallots as well as pickled ginger and pickled onion Wow. And last but never the least, we use a salted ginger and plum umi dressing, which is a Japanese flower. Beautiful. I'll have your server really come good. up and follow up with you about the drinks. Mm -hmm. Do the oysters. And uh, you're looking for your. So that hurts. <laughs> yeah, she knows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, like I said, yeah. 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 Was this for you too? Hey. Hey. Okay, guys, we're getting our, our COVID test. So. Yeah. Okay. Alright, sure. It's fine. Your hair's laid. Oh, so sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> not far, right? Yeah. No, no, no. Look how small. Look how small. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. 
Okay. Oh, we are. Oh, we are. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Okay. <laughs> are you done? <laughs> okay. That wasn't bad. She's over it. <laughs> If I did it, yeah. you could do it. Should we pull my phone a little bit more? She wasn't done sorely for <laughs> It was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was all so bad, right? It was so bad. I'm actually I'm so sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hey, you guys. Um, so, I just got my COVID test. I, I don't know what happened this morning. I should have been vlogging this morning. But, yeah. So, I just got my COVID test. Um, and Aaliyah and Nisha, you guys know Aaliyah, always does my hair. We leave to go to Atlanta. Sorry, my air conditioner's on because it is so hot today, you guys. It's like 30 degrees Celsius because, yeah, I know some of you guys are confused. But yeah, we leave to go to Atlanta on Monday. It's set, set. I don't know why I don't know what day it is. It's Saturday. No, I knew that. I knew that. But anyways, yeah, today's Saturday, and we leave to go to Atlanta in two days, and then from there, I was gonna go to LA, excuse me, but yeah, anyways, that COVID test, this is actually, that was my first time ever getting a COVID test, y'all, like, I've never gotten a COVID test, because I have not traveled at all since the pandemic, the last time I traveled was November 2019, okay, I'm long overdue for a trip, so, um, I might be going to LA after, this is really awkward, because this man is just staring at me, but... Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, and I might go to LA after. So that car, you guys, I think I'm gonna get that one. Like, it just feel, feels so right. Like the other one was like, yeah, it's cute, but like, you know, when you just know. Like I saw it instantly, knew it was my car. Like I knew it. So I might have to come back earlier. I might not be able to leave for two weeks because I gotta pick up the car, and they can only hold it till a certain date. <sighs> so I might just be going to ATL. But either way, I'm really excited. I'm at the mall, Yorkdale now. I'm gonna grab some stuff, like dollar store, so sanitary stuff. I'm, I need a tote bag, like a carry-on, and then I'm gonna get my nails done. So I'm just going to Yorkdale to kill time because I'm already in Vaughn. I was in Thornhill, and the nail salon's in Vaughn as well. I don't wanna go home. So.